And among the 800,000 workers in limbo are correctional officers at the Federal Correction Institution in Three Rivers. Today, area labor unions lent their voices and a helping hand to those employees. Chris 6 News reporter Nikila Pradier has the story. As the shutdown now wraps up its third week, these correctional officers and other federal employees are missing their first paycheck. It's an issue that local labor unions just couldn't keep silent about any longer. So they gathered here today outside the prison in Three Rivers with a straightforward message, reopen the government and pay these workers. You know, we're in support of a lot of issues going up there, but why hold us hostage? Why not pay us? Those are questions that Richard Gonzalez says he and his fellow correctional officers in Three Rivers are asking yet again. After 21 years on the job, Gonzalez has been through several shutdowns and he says the possibility of one every fiscal year always causes some anxiety. Well, are they going to pass something? You know, and uh, is it going to happen this year? And well, this year it really happened and it happened bad. And here we are six years later uh, doing the same thing, uh, being used as piggy banks, used as pawns. So, uh, we're just tired of being used. With the financial realities weighing down on these employees, their union reps stepped up, joined by other leaders of local labor unions to say enough is enough. Some of us are on budget. We got kids, we got kids in college. You know, we, we have bills to pay, just like everybody else. Today's plea also came with care packages, four truckloads of groceries, more than 200 bags that were handed out to the correctional officers here. Local leaders say it's a way to help them with basic necessities at a time when many of them are having a hard time making ends meet. Just some relief for these employees from local union leaders at a time when leaders in Washington remain deadlocked over border security. If they need a wall, fund them. Give them the money. We're going to back them 100 percent. This institution as well is short of officers. We wouldn't ask the government to shut down because we're not getting what we want. That's childish. Uh, you work out your differences, uh, make a deal and pay us. And the union that represents these workers, the American Federation of Government Employees, has filed a lawsuit against the Trump administration over this shutdown. It argues that it's against the law to require people to work without paying them. And the local president tells me that the union filed a similar lawsuit during the last shutdown in 2013 and won its case. Paulo. I think everybody's just ready for some sort of compromise to take place there. 